hello friends in this video I will show you how to add a follow button in your sketchware app using firebase so here I have this app which displays a list of posts and when I click on any of the items it displays name of the user which is linked to the user ID firebase auth UID of that user when I click on the name of the user I save the firebase auth UID of that user in intent put extra key block so here when I click on it I move to the profile page where it displays the name of the user plus other data now here it contains a follow button when I click on it it increases its followers by one and when I click it again it decreases the followers by one so I will show you how to create this in sketchware now I will first show you the data location here it contains a path called user posts and suppose the first user who is using the app is a uh, user whose UID is JW0. So this is the UID of first user and this is the UID of second user. So this user post contains the UID of all the users in its path. Now what I do here is make reference to two paths. One is the UID of second user and second is the UID of first user. So I make a reference database reference to both these paths which means I create two Firebase DB components one for this path and one for this path. Now each of these contain the path followers and following. So when this user JW0 follows this user 1ms the value at user post slash 1m slash followers slash the user ID of the first user the value of this thing becomes true and apart from this the value of JW0 slash following slash the user ID of second user also becomes true so when one button is clicked data is changed at two locations so I'll show you how to do this in sketchware so in sketchware when any list item in the list is clicked I save the UID of the second user in intent put extra key block here I use intent put extra key UID and save the user ID of the second user and I move to the screen user profile activity now on this screen user profile I have this button follow button which is text view 6 then I have this text view 2 for displaying followers and text view 8 for displaying following and here I have added these two 5HDB components one is user posts data location double quotes plus user post plus double quote and I have this self posts where data location is double quotes plus self post plus double quotes in on create event I use stop listing for user posts and self posts then I, I have created two string variables user post and self post I set the first string variable to the data location of the second user I set this user post to data location of second user which is user posts slash the UID of second user then I set this string variable self post to user posts slash UID of first user then I make then I set this 5HDB component user posts to a reference to the string variable user post and I set the 5HDB component self posts to a reference to the file path self post so this means I make reference to the ID of both the users so I make reference to the ID of second user and I make reference to ID of first user so this will be the 5HDB component user posts and this will be 5HDB component self posts 
after that I use start listing for both the Firebase DB components. Next thing is on child added event. Here I display the number of followers and number of following in the two text views. So here I get all the data in user posts to a list map. And I get all the child key to listing all keys. So this means that I get all this data from all the data included in this to list map and I get these four things to the listing called all keys. Okay, then up to this part is not required for displaying the followers and following. So I will just skip this. Now after that I check if the child key equals followers. So here since I have made reference to this, the child keys are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So if the child key equals followers, I check if this equals followers, then the value of the map variable which is which includes these three keys and their values. So here I check if the value of the map variable. Now here I get all the keys from this map variable to listing followers which means I get these three keys to the listing followers. So followers is a list string which I have added here this listing following followers list map and listing all keys. I am using all these four here. So here I set the number variable n to 0, I set number variable fans to 0. Then I repeat for length of this listing followers which is 3 in this case and then I check if the key get at n of listing followers equals true. If it equals true then I increase fans by 1 otherwise I don't increase fans and in the end I get the number of followers in the means the value of fans will be equal to number of followers which I display in text view 2. So here in this case the value of these two keys is true so it will count up to 2 and value of this key is false so it will display the answer 2 it will display followers as 2 in this text view 2. Now in the same way I find the number of following. So I get I check if the child key equals following then I get all the keys to listing following. After that I set number variable n to 0 and I set number variable stars to 0 and repeat for length of following. If child value get key get at n of listing following equals true then I increase stars by 1 otherwise I don't increase stars. And in the end I get number of following which I display in text view 8. So this is about displaying followers and following. Now how to display the display whether the user has already followed the first user has already followed the second user. So in, in order to display that I have this self posts on child added. Here I check if the self posts contain this child key following. So here self post means a reference to this thing. Here I check if it, it contains this key following. If it contains following then I check if the map variable contains the key activity get extra key UID which is the UID of second user. So here I, I check if it contains the UID of second user. It contains so after that I check if the UID of second user value is true. And here you can see that the value is true. So if it the value is true then I set the text of text view 6 to following with a tick. Otherwise I set the text of text view 6 to follow. And if it doesn't contain this key then also I set the text of text view 6 to follow.
this is about displaying follow or following now that text view 6 on click which means when I click this follow button here I check if the listing all keys contains followers which means I check if this listing all keys contains followers I'll just show you here so this means that I check if this path contains this key followers if it doesn't contain that key followers then in that case okay if it doesn't contain the key followers then in that case this else block is executed here I create a new map variable I put the UID of first user as key and I put value true in a map variable then I send it to the Firebase TV user posts at path followers using value ma my map so this means that I put the UID of the first user which is this one as key and true as value and I send it to the Firebase TV user posts which is a reference to this path and I add it using this key followers so it will be added to this location apart from this I also create another map variable put the UID of the second user as key and true as value then I send it to the Firebase DB component self posts which is a reference to the UID of the second user sorry the first user and then it is added to the key following so this means that in self posts which is a reference to this user it will add the key following and then it will add the firebase auth uid of second user with value true so in this way it will add the data at two locations now suppose if it contains if it already contains the key followers then i get the position then I index followers in this listing all keys which means the position of this followers so in this case the position of followers is so here this listing contains is 1 2 3 and 4 items and the position of followers is 0 1 and 2 position of followers is 2 so here it will check if this list map at that position contains the firebase auth uid of first user if it contains the firebase auth uid of first user and value of that key is equal to true this means that the first user is already following the second user and he has clicked the unfollow button so in that case i create a map variable put the value false for firebase auth get uid and i add it i send it to the firebase db user posts at key followers so that means the true will change to false since all the path is same the value true will become false and here also in self posts at following the value of key second user will become false so this is about unfollowing and if here the value is already false then it will the first user will follow the second user using these blocks which I have already described here these are same so this is about following and unfollowing using the follow button so that's all here.
in this video i hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this